Hey guys, this video is a response to Broadway All-Stars avatar tag, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. The first question is, if you were a bender, what element would you bend? And this is actually a really difficult question for me, because I, I've thought about it a lot, and I always go back and forth. One thing I'm absolutely certain of is I would not be an earthbender, and I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be an airbender, which leaves water and fire, and I kind of feel like my... Um, personality fits fire better, but I've kind of always been scared of fire, so I don't really want to be a firebender, and I've always kind of leaned towards water, I think because Katara was my favorite character for a long time, um, especially when I was like, yeah, she's not so much my favorite character anymore, um, now it'd probably be Sokka or Toph, but, um, but when I was younger, I really, really liked Katara, because I started watching Avatar when I was like 11, and she was like the only girl main character, and so I just kind of like liked her a lot because of that, I guess, and so I always kind of wanted to be a waterbender because she was, but I think fire fits my personality better, even though I'm scared of fire, and so I don't know how that would work out. And the second question is, favorite character in Avatar The Last Airbender? I kind of answered this with the Katara thing, but it's not really Katara anymore. Um, I, Avatar is one of the few things that I don't have like a clear-cut answer for this. Like, I don't really know who my favorite character is. Um, Sokka and Toph are two of my favorites. And then I also really like Zuko, but only in season three. Like season one and two, I hated Zuko. And then the beginning of season three, I started to like him. And by the end of season three, I absolutely loved Zuko, but I still don't really like season one or season two Zuko. So I don't know if he could be my favorite character. It'd probably be Sokka or Toph, but I'm not entirely sure which one. And third question is favorite character from Legend of Korra. And um, it's it's kind of like Avatar, where I don't really know. Um, I I want to say it's either Korra, Mako, or Boleyn, and I know that's kind of like, I don't know, because I can't choose between them. They all have like different things I like about them. I also really love Milo. He's just so adorable and cute and hilarious. So I don't really know. I, I would probably choose Korra, just because female characters tend to be my favorite character most of the time. Um, I think because I'm a girl, so I guess I relate to them better. I don't know. But, um, I would probably say Korra, Mako, Bolin, or Milo, but I'm not sure which one of them. And number four, what is your favorite ship? I have to say Katang, because I started watching the show when it first aired, and immediately from the first episode shipped Katang. Um, I'm also a Taka shipper and a Mako shipper, and um, I, I've kind of started shipping Suka recently, but I still would choose Taka over Suka. But like those ships didn't come until later, whereas I was like immediately loved Katang and wanted them to be together, and everything. So definitely them. They're one of my favorite fictional couples like ever. Honestly, like every time I watch the finale kiss, I like get extremely emotional no matter how many times I watch it. So definitely Aang and Katara. Number five, who do you want Toph's baby daddy to be? And I already admitted I'm a Taka shipper. I would love for it to be Sokka, even though that seems like very, very doubtful at the moment. But um, I still kind of hope for that, no matter how small that hope may be. I did see a post on Tumblr a couple months ago, I think, where this person had come up with a very detailed theory on why the Duke is Lin's father, and they had some really good points, and it kind of convinced me, which kind of sucks for me because I do not like the Toph, Toph and the Duke as a couple. Um, it always weirded me out, and I never liked it. And, but it was a really convincing argument and kind of like convinced me. I remember a couple days after reading that, I was just constantly like, please don't let it be true because it seemed like it could be. I, I can't even remember what the evidence was, but it like really seemed logical to me. And so, yeah, I don't know, but I guess it could be the Duke, but I still kind of wish it would be Sokka. I also think there's a big possibility that's just some random guy that we don't even know about. Six, who's more scary, Amon or Ozai? I think 
my answer to this would be different if it was before the end of Avatar. Obviously, we saw Ozai defeated, so that kind of I think that kind of made him less scary. And I'm I'm wondering what I would have said back in like season one, before we'd even seen Ozai's face. Like if that would have made him scary, because I'm going to say Amon, and I think the big reason behind that is the mask. I think that makes him scarier to me. So I'm kind of thinking it's kind of like Ozai. We didn't see his face at first either. They like hit it in the flames and shadow and whatnot for a while. But I, I think the way Ozai was defeated was a lot different than how Amon was defeated. And I think that made him seem not weak, obviously, but not as scary as Amon. Like, and the blood bending was definitely really scary. So I'm going to go with Amon. 7. Who in the Avatar universe would you date? I'm going to go with Sokka, since he, like as I said earlier, he's like my favorite male character, and he's hilarious, and I love him, so Sokka. 8. Favorite animal companion slash, slash which one would you want to have? I'm going to say I love all of the animal companions that are in both series, but I'm going to go with Momo. I've just always loved Momo. I mean, Appa would be amazing because I love him and getting to fly around on him would be f so much fun. And um, Pabu is a adorable. absolutely love him. And Naga is cool too, but probably not as cool as the others. But, and, but I'm going to have to go with Momo because he's just adorable and he came before Pabu. And yeah. Nine. Favorite avatar. I'm going to have to go with Aang just for nostalgia and everything because he was... Obviously Korra and Aang are the two avatars that we've gotten to know the best and Aang came first and was there for like from the time I was 11 to now so definitely Aang. Ten. Who is your least favorite character? Um, I probably would have said Zuko back in season one but that's definitely not true anymore. Um, I, I really didn't like Zhao but um, he was voiced by Jason Isaacs, which makes him kind of cooler. And so I don't know. But um, and then there's Azula, who I absolutely hate, but I really, really like how she's written and her character and how her storyline goes. So I don't really know if I can say her either. I just really don't know if I have an answer to this question because, like, I feel as if there are a lot of characters that I don't like necessarily, but. I realize their importance to the story and I really like how they're used in the story so I don't really know if I actually have one. 11 and the best hair award goes to and I'm going to go with Katara just for like the hair loopies because I remember like I don't because they're just such like an iconic avatar thing I guess plus I remember all the debates on how Toph got her hair into her bun so I'm gonna put her second just because I remember so many people talking about and trying to figure out how she got her hair to stay like that which like cracked me up but then Katara's hairstyle just seems complicated and stuff so yeah I'm gonna go with Katara. And 12 got any avatar pickup lines and I honestly can't think of any at all this is not something I'm good at and I can't think of any so yeah that's all the questions if you want to do this tag you should check out Broadway All Stars video and make it a video response to her video and I will see you guys later bye